guys, welcome back to the OVC YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to be interviewing Samantha, who's going to be telling us about her All Pay USA experience. Hi, Samantha, how are you doing? Hi, I'm doing great, and yourself? Good, thank you. Can you tell us why you chose OVC to do your All Pay program? Yes, I was um, looking for something to fill my gap year up and I wanted something with experience and allowed me to have a little bit of adventure and OVC had the perfect package. I could study something, travel and work at the same time. It was just yes. perfect. Awesome. So where are you currently based in America and can you tell me a bit about your host family? I am currently in um, Los Altos. It's uh, not too far from San Francisco in California. And okay. uh, I am with a family of three, um, one kid, okay. he's five and he's just amazing. Oh, um, this is an amazing program. I had had the opportunity to learn so much from this family and from this program. Mm -hmm. So what does your day-to-day -day routine look like within your host family? Um, well, due to COVID, it's a very different routine. Yes. We, um, so my day starts with getting my kid ready. And uh, then there's a few classes, some tutoring. My, uh, my favorite part about the day is uh, when I get to spend time with activities that we've planned together, which um, could be anything from crafts to going out to the park and playing a few games, walks okay. and stuff like that. Okay, nice. And how do you feel with the support given on program with our partners or pair care and your area director that's there for you and she does your monthly check-ins and tries to get other all pairs together and do your cluster meetings? It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Um, whenever there's something that I feel scared about, or if I need clarification on, they're always there. They're they're really kind, and they always have the information or the right support for mm -hmm. the situation. Yes. And then how do you feel with all the program benefits that your your flights, for instance, and your health insurance, does that make you feel well looked after and nothing like a weight lifted off your shoulder in a way? Yes, it's uh, it's great. It, it's a loss. A, a lot of stress is relieved. Um, if uh, something were to happen, uh, for example, last year, I uh, felt really sick and um, I needed to go to the hospital and mm -hmm. I was just so scared about the hospital bills. Yes. But um, the insurance really did come through and uh, it, it does help. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing to get your credits needed for the program? So I found this great program, um, OVC, actually uh, recommends it as well. It's called All Pair Weekend Classes mm -hmm. and it's um, just for all pairs. It's hosted mainly by um, UCL, uh, San Diego Ex Extension. Mm -hmm. And um, what they do is they have like these short programs where you can go during the weekend uh, based on your hours. And it's amazing. I've been using it for the past, um, one year and six months that I've been here so <laughs> I've done three programs with them okay. and I love it That's they give awesome. you a bit of time to travel and study about something mm -hmm. uh, for example the first one I did was um, in San Diego so I got to explore and I got to learn about the history and culture of San Diego mm -hmm. as well as uh, <laughs> um, as well as Yes, no, definitely. So have you met a lot of au pairs in your area and where are some of the girls from? Um, I do meet, I have met a few au pairs from my area, mm -hmm. obviously before COVID. Yes. And, um, they're, 
mostly from around um, Redwood City, um, Los Altos, and San Francisco. Um, okay. Okay. It's a very close knit community. Yes. No, that's nice. So, what do you do in your days off and free time when you're not with your host family? Um, so, the area that I am in offers a lot of um, extra recreational um, activities that don't require you to be uh, in a building or okay. in groups. For example, I'm really close to a mountain. So I have the opportunity to go on hikes, which I absolutely love. Um, before when, uh, before COVID happened, there were uh, shopping centers and events over the weekend that used to happen. For example, there's this farmer market that I used to frequent. Um, they had a few activities like dancing and um, like mini concerts and okay. food carts, very great stuff. Oh, that's so nice. And it's awesome that you got to experience your program before COVID. So did you get the chance to travel and sightsee? And if so, what are the, some of the places that you got to experience? Um, I did get to travel and uh, see a few places. My program obviously started in New York where training was. Yes. So I got to see a bit of the city there. Mm -hmm. um, I've been to Colorado and I've been to San Diego as well as um, San Francisco and it's just amazing being able to see the stuff that you usually see in your yes. um, movies and TV shows. Definitely. It still feels a little surreal. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. And last question for you today. What advice would you give to other young ladies that are a bit hesitant about the program? If you are looking for something to do, but you don't entirely want to waste your time, this program is amazing. You get to study something, you get to travel, you get to meet new people. There's mm -hmm. um, so much to learn from this experience. Um, if, when you get, if when you meet your family, when you build a bond with your family, yes. it's just amazing. There's so much to learn um, and grow from it. It's changed me in ways that I never knew would be possible. And I'm really grateful to OVC for this experience. Awesome. So thank you so much for your kind words and for taking time out of your evening or night to speak to me very quickly. Uh, uh, the pleasure is mine. <laughs> to everyone else that's watching, please remember to like the video and subscribe below. Thank you. Thank you.